Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech, but today we're going to be having a look at this Lenovo M700. This unit's been out for a little while. This particular unit has been in a very disagreeable place for a very long time, and the fans busted in it. We're going to see if we can fix that up haphazardly and see how we do. On the back, you'll see once again we have two uh, display ports, no VGA. Always, always sad to see no VGA. Happy to see we got LAN, USB 3.0, 3.0, 3.0, that might be 3.1. And then power over there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's take a look at what's on the inside. So here on the inside, we can see the biggest mistake that the manufacturers made, uh, I suppose a customer made by purchasing it. We got a Western Digital Blue in here, and it doesn't matter if it's Western Digital or not. The fact is, it is a, uh, a standard hard disk drive. I definitely recommend never getting one of those. Here's the fan that stopped working for one reason or another, probably because it had too much oil on it. I have a basic fan that I can slap onto there, but one thing that's really interesting, here's the CPU, and if we put this over here, this thing just barely barely touches the CPU at all. That seems to be the thing with the tiny systems. You see the north bridge here. Jeez, I hope that's not a crack on the die. No, that's just more oil. And we have an i5 under here and a lot of unused ports i gotta say big heat pipe coming up over there you got to make sure that uh this stays open this airway stays open or air is just not going to flow through there so let me get this hard drive out of here and see if there is a place for an m.2 card under it i believe there is remember every time you take this out you're going to disconnect it from the wireless the wi-fi right over there just keep that in mind take that out keep it don't lose it take a look at the inside oh yeah that's what i like to see two places an extra place an upgrade for another four gigs of ram so i can max this thing up to eight gigs of ram we can see right here that yes there is space for an m.2 no there's not okay so it has the pickup here oh wait up here yeah yeah okay okay so you had to screw it in up here even though uh, I'm not seeing the piece you need to screw it in. I'm not hearing it flap around in there either, so uh, perhaps the oil devoured that plastic. Interesting thing about oil, if you guys don't know, oil will de devour plastic. Not all plastic, but after a certain amount of time, if you have too much oil on it, it'll just uh, degrade more or less. So, let's get some more RAM in here. Let's get a new fan in there, and we'll see what we can pull off with it. Alright, so check this out. Here's the original fan. And here's the only fan that I could find that actually took the exact same input. It's uh, not going to quite reach, so I have another idea. We'll get a bigger heat sink, and if it fits, it sits. There you go. Yeah, that should take care of it. There we go, now with a few zip ties, a little bit of spit, and uh, Ralph Wiggum, I'm helping little fan over here. We're going to, man to Monero mine the entire universe. Let's get this thing checked out and see what kind of video games we can pull down with it. This thing's a frickin' work of modern art. It's a masterpiece. I should be given money for this stuff. Well, this sucks. It rejected the fan. Now what are we gonna do? I wonder if I can run without it. Of course, the kids are always all about the RGB lights, so yeah, let's get some RGB lights on here. Make it faster, stronger, more alive. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it doesn't look like this heat sink's working very well. Just because of how far above 80 degrees we're getting, all I did to make it uh, jump up to 80 degrees was turn on the Passmark Performance Test 10. But you know what? I still want to have a look, and I still want to see if I run this performance test, what's going to happen? Is it going to crash out? Is it going to come down to earth? What's going to happen? So let's try this out. All right, first up, benchmark test 10. We're getting 20 frames per second out of this sucker. That's not so bad considering how hot this thing's apparently running. There, there's a better shot so you can see it for yourself. 20 frames per second. And it looks like we're approaching 90 degrees, but apparently the i5 can handle up to um, 100 degrees, so we're actually okay here. We're at about 5 frames per second when it comes to the tree. Or I should say the last test was for DirectX 9. This is for DirectX 10, DirectX 11 and 12 coming up next. Here we have our DirectX 11. It's running pretty good considering this thing doesn't actually have a fan and just has a giant heatsink zip tied to the uh, 
GPU area. Next up, we have DirectX 12. This thing is definitely running pretty hot. Put a few coins on a certain part of it to cool it down. I'll show you in the thermal video. But yeah, that thing is definitely running pretty hot. Next up, we have DirectX 12. This thing is definitely running pretty hot. I put a few coins on a certain part of it to cool it down. I'll show you in the thermal video. But yeah, that thing is definitely running pretty hot. Alright, so this is round two. Something that I've changed is I've put a marble plate beneath the unit. The whole unit was running really hot. I've sacrificed my godly zip ties, and then I put four quarters down there as a shim so that this heat sink would make better contact. Now, over here you can definitely see it's helped. You can see the bar graph. You can definitely tell within the bar graph where I shut it off. Now I've turned it on and it still hasn't got as high as quick as it did last time. So let's try running this one more time. So far so good. We're still in the CPU mark and we're not above 60 degrees. I should say I used a very special type of uh, uh, paste or glue to use as a thermal transfer unit between the quarters, the CPU sink, and the CPU sink. It's called Gorilla Glue. Mm -hmm. Gel. Crazy glue type. I gotta say, this crazy glue heat transfer special super T unit is definitely helping out in the bottom line, in the score, with the temperature. Not bad. Not bad at all. We have a pass mark, uh, a good pass mark mark of 1700. This is co comparative in speed with the Dell i3 OptiFlex 9020. And it's just a little bit faster than what I got right underneath it, which is Lenovo M92P. That's an i7 with 8 gigabytes. This i5 is better than uh, the i7 that I got beneath it. Uh, I think it's because this is a 6th generation i5 and the i5 below it I'm pretty sure is a 3rd generation, 3770, something like that, so the generational thing really makes a difference. As you can see I managed to get my way into Grand Theft Auto. Jump in the car, it feels like I'm doing about 30 frames a second. With this itty bitty teeny weeny screen, it feels okay, and over on the right we can see the temperature and it's not going anywhere higher than 60 degrees Celsius so I think we're okay without a fan I think I've uh, made this this uh, heat unit or this cooling unit good enough that it can just get by and this is smooth in the little itty bitty window so this system definitely isn't meant for gaming and uh, I definitely think that I have this system going as good as I would with the CPU fan. Next up, let's try some Fortnite. All right, trying out Fortnite. Let's go over to the settings and see what it's decided to do for us. 120 frames per second. Of course, that means it put us into performance mode. Let's uh, turn on the juice and see what shakes loose, shall we? Okay, so just standing here, I'm getting over 60 frames per second, but man, the heat sink over here. I can, I can put my hand on it, the whole thing is very warm. The heat pipe is, uh, it's pretty warm too. I can't see the temperature right now, but after I die, we'll back out real quick and find out. Okay, so I am definitely am getting some frame rate drops. Things are getting a bit slow, about 40 frames per second right now. We'll be able to really test things out once we see what it's like when we hit the ground. But, oh man, look at that circle. That looks like something out of PlayStation 2. So we're doing better than we did on the M600. This is the M700. Oh yeah, it looks much better than it did. And now is the moment of truth. Oh, this is a real user. They're actually trying to open it and not just hit it with their uh, thing. Uh-oh. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah, that's just what I need. The frickin', that's, that's exactly the gun. Oh, I didn't even know you could kill anyone with that. I was just messing around. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that made my day. Let's see if this guy can make my day and just uh, go away. You guys know how much I suck on this PC version. This is a golden gun. Oh, I actually did it. Oh, I don't have any more charges. I can't get away. Can't get away. 
Maybe I should build some stuff. I'm not that intelligent, though. No more pistol pew pew. Aha, uh -huh, that's what you get. Get two more bullets, can I? No! Okay, I'm gonna have to finish this guy off with some of this then. You must have like one hit point. There we go. Oh, you found a weapon, did you? You come back for some more, did you? You decided to come out and say hi. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Yeah, so this thing ain't playing so bad. Alright, so I'm at about eight kills. And, oh, there's Django way over there. How did I aggro him? Do you see how far away he is? I aggroed him. Holy crud. That Mandalorian, what the heck? Look at the range I aggroed him from. How does that work? How did he see me? But anyways... Wow, I'm sorry, I'm just blown away by that. But anyways, I am at uh, 8 kill, 26 people left, and I'm, I'm doing pretty good. This is uh, running relatively fluently for me over here. Alright, 16th place. I think today's lesson is if you think there's a sniper uh, watching you, there probably is. Let's check out that CPU speed now. Alright, looks like we can run this with the temperatures up, and we're getting 80 degrees Celsius, which is about as high as Google recommends you go, but at the same time, Microsoft says that its i5 chips can generally take up to 100 degrees, so I think we're within a relatively safe spot for this. This unit is definitely not made for much gaming, that's for sure. If you're just doing office stuff, I definitely believe that you'll comfortably get away with it. I would, however, recommend that you get a solid state drive and try to stay away from a build like this. However, if you were to find something like this in the dumpster or recycling center and just want to get it together for some fun, I 100% recommend it. But uh, we're, I'm going to have to get a $30 fan, uh, the same model number, if I want to make sure that that air stops coming up. And I can't seem to do it in the bias. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff, folks. It's always appreciated. And as always, take care of each other, folks.